Well, we thought, what better place to have our 100th episode than Port Stewart? So let's start the show. <laughs> Mind the steps, Paul. Oh gosh, it's treacherous. Well, we're back in Port Stewart. You can see it behind us. And what we're doing, we're walking up the cliff path, which takes you behind the town and eventually will lead you to the glorious two mile long Port Stewart Strand. I don't think we're going to make it as far as there today, but you know, just look at this. Glorious sunshine, a bit of exercise. What more could you want? Don't you just love this view, Marcus? This is what keeps making me want to come back to visit. Yes, it's just breathe in that sea air. It's magnificent. Fill the lungs. Glorious. Mmm. Mm. It's divine. Absolutely. During this trip to Northern Ireland, I just happened to look at my diary and I found that I had brought a picture of myself and my mother that was taken in Port Stewart when I was, I don't know, how old would I be there? Two, three or something? And I just noticed that my father's shoes were sitting on the sand as well. I know where this picture was taken and I'm going to go and look at that spot in a moment, but I've come to pay respects to my parents here in Port Stewart this morning as well, um, because I couldn't drive past the cemetery again. I've been to see them and I've left flowers um, a couple of days ago, but I couldn't just drive past it, especially as I have this picture. So now I'm going to go to the spot it was taken. Well, I know that I'm in the right spot because the building behind me, which is Port Stewart Town Hall, has got five windows and you can just see the top of the chimney there. So this is the spot. Now, back then, this was a sandy area and it still is to the left-hand side of where I'm sitting, Paul, if you want to just have a little look, you can see the, the sand. But where I am actually now, is, uh, they've, they've reclaimed some of the sand and made um, a sort of a sloping path up onto the promenade. But I would say this is definitely the spot that I was sitting with my mother in around 1974-75. did we make our opening titles? Well, we went to Phil's Amusement Arcade in Port Rush and they had a very special machine. Let's take a look. Thank you. 
use this as our new title sequence from episode 101. Is that the two Ronnies? So it was all thanks to Van Gogh's Colour Workroom. We hope you enjoy these new titles. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. Bye for now. Bought a new car? Hired a car? Forgotten to check what side the fuel tank is at? Well, here's a top tip and trick. While you're inside the car, look at the fuel gauge. There is an arrow and it tells you whether the fuel tank is at the left-hand side or the right-hand side. On this car, it says it's at the left-hand side. So let's take a look. And it was right, because look, the fuel tank is indeed on the left-hand side. Oh, hello there, it's Marcus Mann here from Uxbridge. Now, I'm 49 and 11 twelfths, so I am getting on a bit. Now, what you need to know is that I am a journalist and I'm also a YouTuber. You can probably tell from my accent that I'm originally from Northern Ireland, but there's a bit of a problem. There's one word that I just cannot say. Now, is it wheel or is it wheel? Please, I think I need Gloria Honeyford's help with this. Maybe she could come on the show too. Oh, this is so annoying. You know how you get a bit of eggshell in your egg and you try to let, you get a spoon, try to get it out? Oh, I nearly had it. Well, <laughs> sometimes it does work. But guaranteed to work to get the shell out is to use the eggshell because it attracts it. So well, look at that, straight in. First go and you can even, you know, pour out the rest of the white bag in and it captures that eggshell. I think that's a top tip and trick, don't you? Well, we've had a fabulous time here in Port Stewart to celebrate our 100th episode. We certainly did. Here's to the next 100. See you next time. Bye. Bye.
Welcome to Bristol, the home of boats, bridges and Brunel. We only have 24 hours, so let's get going. Marcus, it's your birthday!